Hello and welcome to this ABB video on confirming absence of voltage on ACS880 multi-drives. Today we will discuss how to verify that your ACS880 multi-drive is ready to be serviced. Please be aware that this video will assume the following. Its viewers are trained in handling electricity and variable frequency drives in a safe manner, are electrically competent and authorized to perform service work on ACS-880 multi-drives, and are familiar with ABB's precautions and warnings in the drive's safety instructions, user, hardware, and installation manuals. Please review the following documents prior to performing service work on the multi-drive. These are freely available on ABB's website. Before beginning any service work, ensure you complete the following. Consult with the site person in charge of work and apply for and receive a permit to work. Obtain and review the relevant one-line diagrams of the application equipment and walk the permit with the person in charge of work. Special attention must be paid to the use of one-line diagrams. They are critical in helping identify the possibility of external or auxiliary power circuits connected to the multi-drive and related equipment. Coming into contact with an energized power source could be the last thing a person ever does. Knowing this, reviewing the one-line diagrams may truly be what saves your life or the life of a colleague. Once the energized permit to work has been issued, identify, turn power off, and perform lockout tagout on all possible power sources that could create energized circuits within or connected to the ACS-880 multi-drive to be serviced. Examples of this may include mains power, control power, aux control power, other external power supplies and relay output circuits, and more. It is worth repeating that even when power is removed from input terminals, dangerous voltages may still be present from aux supplies and external sources, such as relay output circuits. Ensure any additional circuits such as these are locked out. Warning, PM motors present risk of electric shock, even when the mains power is disconnected from the multi-drive. If you have a permanent magnet motor connected to the multi-drive, disconnect it from the drive with a safety switch or by other means. Before coming out to the customer's site, you identified your necessary PPE required to service the equipment. Once on site, confirm you still have all the necessary, correctly rated PPE to perform the service work. Apply all appropriate PPE now. Before going out to a customer's site, ensure you have the following devices. A voltage detector, a calibrated digital multimeter, and a voltage proving unit. The voltage detection device will be used to test for absence of voltage. Low voltage detection devices less than 1000 volts shall be rated category 3 or higher, inspected by the competent user pre-use, and functionally tested as per the manufacturer's requirements. However, if national standards or local or customer's requirements are more stringent, then the higher standard shall be followed. Please note, ABB personnel should only use ABB approved devices. Remove the main supply lock and the aux voltage lock on the ICU cubicle door. Open the ICU cubicle door. Remove the six barrier retaining screws. It is recommended to remove the metal barrier with their protective gloves still on while being careful not to drop any of the hardware inside the cabinet. The next step is to measure for voltage on the top side of the main supply disconnect. To do so, the clear guard must be removed. There are four screws to remove the guard. Remember to perform the live dead live procedure when checking for absence of voltage. There should be no voltage present. Measure the phase-to-phase -phase AC voltage on the top side of the main supply disconnect from L1 to L2, L1 to L3, and L2 to L3. Now 
Next, measure for AC voltage on the top side of the main supply disconnect, face to ground. Once again, there should be no voltage present. Next, measure for AC voltage on the bottom side of the main supply disconnect, phase to phase and phase to ground. Next, check for absence of voltage on the aux power supply. Measure from line to neutral, neutral to ground, and line to ground. Then do the same for the output. Open the supply unit cubicle door. Observing the same precautions and in similar fashion, remove any other metal or plastic barriers that may prevent you from accessing the supply input power terminals. Measure and ensure that the AC voltage phase to phase and phase to ground on the supply unit input power terminals is at zero volts. There should be no voltage present. Within the supply unit cubicle, measure and ensure the DC voltage between the positive DC bus and the grounding bus bar and negative DC bus bars and the grounding bus bar. Positive DC bus and negative DC bus bars is at zero volts. If servicing the inverter units, please perform the following. Open the INU cubicle door. Observing the same precautions and in similar fashion, remove any other metal or plastic barriers that may prevent you from accessing the DC bus bar connections to the inverter units. Measure and ensure that the DC voltage between the drive DC bus bars and ground is at zero volts. There should be no voltage present. If residual voltage is present, an appropriately sized discharge resistor will need to be utilized to dissipate this energy. If significant voltage is still present, do not utilize a discharge resistor as it would be unsafe to do so. Instead, identify the source of the voltage, power off and lock out the supply source. Afterwards, you may proceed with the DC bus voltage checks and confirm there is no residual voltage before continuing. If temporary grounding points are installed on the drive, connect the grounding equipment now. Now that all sources have been checked for absence of voltage, perform another live dead live test to ensure your meter has not failed. Once the previous steps have all been completed, proceed with the service tasks. Thank you for your attention during this ABB instructional video regarding confirming absence of voltage on ACS 880 multi-drives, and for your continued use of ABB drives and products. Have a great day!